Hello everybody, my name is Dalton Rominger and welcome back to Sailwind. Uh, this is episode 6, I believe, and I don't recall it storming nearly this bad whenever I left off, but anyway, whatever. Um, in this episode, the main thing I want to show off, since we're in the area and I've got a decent amount of money to kind of play around with, I want to show off the customization in this episode. So let's finally get that done and out of the way. We just have to get the ship over in this little area over here and we should be good. Well, apparently that might be easier said than done. Alright, so um, in order to upgrade your ship, you need to look for this flag over here. Let me get a closer look at it so you know what you're looking for. Of course, it would also help if the uh, wind was... You're looking for a cross of two hammers, basically. Uh, an X of hammers. Uh, then you want to come over here to this guy. Here's another flag you can look for. Uh, you want to come to this guy and just enter shipyard. Alright, now it's kind of confusing. Um, the menu is very, it takes some getting used to, even I'm still not used to it, but, um, the developer has kind of updated this since the last time I played around with it, but, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and clean the hall, why not, it only costs one, so, <clears throat> in this menu you, you can kind of play around with, uh, sales, if you wish, uh, let's See what uh, that might be just a little bit big. All right, so we've only really got square for this one. Admittedly, like, if, if I've got the wind at my back, that would, like, really speed me up, but it's probably a little bit big, and honestly, I don't know if I really like the look of it. <laughs> That's too small. There wasn't anything else I could add, right? No, it, it's literally just squares. Wide square? No. Well, let's take a look at what we can do here. That's pretty much it, apparently. Two sails there. Alright, so this is where we can add in the, uh, the roof, but it's going to cost 1,100 gold, which I don't have. I've only got 600. That would cost 1,200. 1245 is how much that would cost. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay with no roof. But maybe I could add in another mast? That's 300. Hmm. And add one more sail here. Uh, what would I want to add here? Probably not that. I could add a gap, but I think that's probably better off in the center. Hmm. 
that might not be the worst idea, actually. You know what? I will let people in the comment section... Actually, maybe I'll do a stream again relatively soon, and we'll kind of debate on what kind of sale we should invest in here. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do the ship customization. That's how you clean the boat, if you so desire. Uh, at, as I'm recording this video, cleaning the hull really doesn't do anything other than just make the boat look prettier. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna go through, just kind of double check something. That's a small jib. What if I were to... Add in a short jib? Which is technically better. problem is, if you get too big of a sail, you can actually tip over. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep the boat as it is for right now, but I, I at least finally showed up the customization for the, for the ship. It'll just go splonk back into the, into the water there. Uh, I haven't really looked too much into jobs yet. What what jobs do we have available to us? Also, you know, since I'm here, should I maybe just go ahead and... Maybe... Convert some money? You know, yeah, let's do that. Let's get our first couple of gold coins here. I've finally got five. Uh, and I think it costs like a hundred something, give or take, for for the brig. Just run over here and see. Yeah, 110 gold. Also, I got an update from YouTube. Sayanella, okay. So, uh, hmm. What do we want to do now? Ooh, I can finally go to the Dragon Cliffs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, now we're getting places with uh, 4,000 gold for a journey. 4,500, I should say. Heck to the yeah. I'm not taking that, though. That's way too heavy. But, hmm. To Newport. Happy Bay. There's one to Gold Rock City. But, oh, okay, I'll link. That seems very... Okay, hey, but... Like, this is four and a half grand. Why is... That so little whenever... That's arguably a much longer trip, and I'd also argue probably quite a bit harder as well. Hmm. We'll have to look at doing this relatively soon, but right now I need to start building... 
my money back up. Do I want to try east wind again? No, because the wind is blowing to the east, and that's to the west. Brown tobacco. Really? Just one? You know what? I guess let's just take this one thing to Mount Malefic and... We'll see what jobs Mount Malefic has, because if it has a job going up to East Wind, or even a few jobs going up to East Wind, I might look at taking that for the next video. Uh, do I want to stop at Sunspire, though? I'm just kind of bringing a little bit extra money. I guess I might as well. Okay, main thing, though, is get that. Okay, so... That's also paying pretty good. We'll take the rum, because why not? And we'll take the seafood as well, I guess. Okay, that did say Sunspire, right? <laughs> As far as I can tell, yes, everything is going to Sunspire. Okay, good. So let's, uh... Bring the ship around. Just for making it loading that much easier. I'm going to put you back over here, where you belong. I also think I'm going to start cutting in, uh, adding in a few more cuts here and there for this particular video, um, just to make the video a little bit less boring, because we've, we've seen these islands, you know, over and over and over again, so I don't see the point in really boring you guys, unless you specifically, intentionally want me to, uh, you know, leave in as much footage as possible. I think tomorrow, since I've got Monday off, I might also do a live stream of this again, just to uh, kind of connect with you guys again, because I'm not going to lie, I kind of like doing live streams and just having people to talk to while I'm doing the boring stuff. Uh, where is, there it is. Where are you going, boat? Just jump up here. Please. Let me up. Please. Please. Fine. Uh, all right, you know, I'll see you guys whenever I get all this stuff loaded on. Alright, here we go. Finally got everything loaded. Unfortunately, because it's so dark and I don't think I have my lantern anymore, I can't show you how I have it loaded. So let's just go ahead and reverse out of port.
I didn't just like put my lantern down or something, did I? I apologize for it being so dark. I I thought I still had my lantern on me, but it was about to it was about burnt out anyway, so I probably just went ahead and sold it. Um Oh well. <clears throat> I wonder if this is something they actually did back in the day. Like, did they actually back out of harbors? If that's what they had to do? <laughs> That'd be interesting if so. I'm getting tired. You can go away. thing in. And in a moment we should start moving forward. raising this thing up as well. <clears throat> so, so from all the sailing experts out there, I'd kind of like to know if I've got the uh, proper kind of sails to use for this because uh, It's really just kind of guesstimating on my part. Like, you know, that looks like it'd be kind of useful. Let's let's go with that. <laughs> That's pretty much my whole way of thinking with this kind of game. Like, you know, this sail right here, it looks like you can catch the side winds really nice. So let's go ahead and get that. <laughs> it has made it a lot easier, though. I will say that. Alright, let's see if we can sleep until day. See if we can actually see something. Well, it's not day yet, but... Uh, the wind seems to be roughly still the same, so... I only got about halfway through my sleep, so I'm just going to go back. Double check the island. Yeah, we're, we've still got a ways to go. So I will see you guys in a moment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, the wind is... in this general sort of a direction. don't need this thing anymore. What we need now is the uh, main sail. Oh, yeah, this is how I had everything stored, by the way. Uh, might as well uh, put this thing or at least makes a bit more sense. I just put a lot of the smaller boxes on top of the uh, rum barrels. I put three rum barrels. I put three rum barrels on each side of the mast. So uh, the weight should be pretty evenly distributed, I think. And this back here is the one box that's going to the volcano island. <laughs> this one tiny little box of brown tobacco.
All right, well, I'm getting thirsty again, so, uh... What's my reputation now, by the way? I didn't look at this after the ending of last video. Uh, still got a ways to go to 8,000. I think we get a 20% discount, maybe 25. Yeah, that is throwing me off like something fierce. Just get out of my way. Okay. Um not really much to say. I mean, we've, we've been to these islands like 10 million times now, so... doing what I want you to do. Yeah, whatever. Well, provided the wind doesn't change, we should have a pretty favorable wind going to Mount Malefic. Get this thing raised up. It would be kind of nice to see our character whenever we go into, you know, third-person mode. That way, it, it just it doesn't look like it's a ghost ship. <laughs> yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if the character is just standing there or something. It'd just be kind of nice to see that there's something there. Like, we're not just a disembodied, you know, camera. Alright, well, uh... I guess I'll just go ahead and start unloading all this stuff. Hello? explain why that barrel's a little bit higher up. <laughs> Somehow I place it on top of a, another seafood box. Everything sorted out. Let's take everything one by one. Yeah, it's something I haven't really shown, by the way. Uh, you can just ghost these things to a wall and it'll count. <laughs> It'd be 
kind of nice to be able to do this in real life. <laughs> Just phase something through a wall, like, yep, there it is. There, there you go. Now this time I'm going to check and see if they have anything going to Mount Malefic themselves. Uh, no, just straight back to Fort Astron. Well, that's a shame. Unless I can sell something at Mount Malefic. No. Can't even do the trading thing. I've heard the trading is where it's, like, really at, but, uh... My luck thus far, it's been basically useless. Ourselves. Situated here, start journeying north or south, I mean. Man, Mount Malefic gave me so much trouble the other night on the live stream. Or, actually, it was just last night. Feels like it's been longer, though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have you... ...like that. I'm gonna pull you... ...in a little bit. about there-ish should be fine, at least for now. Then let's just have all the sails open. <clears throat> Try and catch as much, wind, as much wind as we possibly can. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, the wind is... in this general sort of a direction. don't need this thing anymore. What we need now is the uh, main sail. Oh, yeah, this is how I had everything stored, by the way. Uh, might as well uh, put this thing or at least makes a bit more sense. I just put a lot of the smaller boxes on top of the uh, rum barrels. I put three rum barrels. I put three rum barrels on each side of the mast. So uh, the weight should be pretty evenly distributed, I think. And this back here is the one box that's going to the volcano island. There's <laughs> this one tiny little box of brown tobacco. again, so, uh... What's my reputation now, by the way? I didn't look at this after the ending of last video. 
Uh, still got a ways to go to 8,000. I think we get a 20% discount, maybe 25. Okay, that is throwing me off like something fierce. Just get out of my way. Okay, um... Not really much to say. I mean, we've, we've been to these islands like 10 million times now, so... doing what I want you to do. Uh, whatever. Well, provided the wind doesn't change, we should have a pretty favorable wind going to Mount Malefic. Get this thing raised up. It would be kind of nice to see our character whenever we go into, you know, third-person mode. That way, it, it just it doesn't look like it's a ghost ship. <laughs> yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if the character is just standing there or something. It'd just be kind of nice to see that there's something there. Like, we're not just a disembodied, you know, camera. Alright, well, uh... I guess I'll just go ahead and start unloading all this stuff. I do. explain why that barrel's a little bit higher up. <laughs> Somehow I place it on top of a, another seafood box. Everything sorted out. Let's take everything one by one. Yeah, it's something I haven't really shown, by the way. Uh, you can just ghost these things through a wall and it'll count. <laughs> It'd be kind of nice to be able to do this in real life. 
just phase something through a wall. Like, yep, there it is. There, there you go. Now this time I'm going to check and see if they have anything going to Mount Malefic themselves. Uh, no, just straight back to Fort Astron. Well, that's a shame. Unless I can sell something at Mount Malefic. No. Can't even do the trading thing. I've heard the trading is where it's, like, really at, but, uh... My luck thus far, it's been basically useless. Ourselves. Situated here, start journeying north or south, I mean. Man, Mount Malefic gave me so much trouble the other night on the live stream. Or, actually, it was just last night. Feels like it's been longer, though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have you... ...like that. I'm gonna pull you... ...in a little bit. about there-ish should be fine, at least for now. Then let's just have all the sails open. <clears throat> Try and catch as much, wind, as much wind as we possibly can. about there-ish should be relatively fine. Uh, we're taking this massive, massive load to the, the volcanic island of Mount Malefic. Uh, hopefully we make it there alive, everybody. You never know. Fishing time! The one bad thing about this game, and it's not any fault of the developer, uh, this is just more my own system, I can't, like, move my mouse off the screen that I'm gaming on and, like, watch YouTube or something without pausing the video. Because otherwise, I just, like, sit here and, you know, watch a YouTube video or something while I'm sailing along, just kind of check on my resources and my course every now and then. Come here. <laughs> I haven't caught an eel yet, and I'm kind of disappointed about that. Eels are fantastic for people who don't know. We'll catch another one.
Come on, fish. Come on. I would like to eat you <laughs> at some point or another. Wow, there's really nothing biting, is there? Whoa, right off the bat. Like, as soon as this thing touched the water, uh, I caught a fish. Doesn't happen very often, but... I think that's the fastest I've ever I've actually <laughs> I've ever actually caught a fish. At least I didn't lose the hook this time. Alright, so that puts me at about halfway. I think uh, whenever we reach East Wind, uh, the next time I take a job there, after that, depending on how much money I have, I'm going to start buying navigation tools and at least try and journey down to Happy Bay. Maybe go to the Emerald Archipelago and we'll kind of see some different scenery or something. Because Fort Astron, you know, I, I like that it's, you know, uh, all the islands are relatively close by, and they're big and easy to see. It, it does get kind of tiresome just sailing around to the exact same islands over and over and over again. So we might be looking at an open ocean journey here before too long. And there is, like, a secret island, like, way, 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 way off to the east. Uh, and it just spawns randomly. It's not something that is, like, a solid object in the game. Like Sunspire, Mount Malefic, for example, they'll always be in the exact same spot. But this other island, Kronos, I think it's called? Uh, it spawns randomly. And there's an entire ocean you have to try and sail in order to try and find it. <laughs> and it doesn't appear on any map that I know of. So, who knows, at some point we might try that out. Whenever we have so much money and we buy like all the boats and whatnot and money isn't really an issue anymore we'll just kind of stuck up on supplies and maybe we'll take the brig out the brig could be fun or maybe we'll take this vessel who knows because we could totally like pimp these ships out completely and have all the sails in the world on them that's I don't like how the sails kind of just clip through each other. That's kind of weird. Uh, no, 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 no. Wrong thing. Well, we should have pretty much maximum wind catching <laughs> on on that side of the ship, so... I guess we'll just try and pass time again. Well, I just heard a thud, which means I just ran into... Yeah, I ran into the shore. Crap. <laughs> Alright, well, let's raise everything up then. Okay, 
you can just be lowered down. All right. Now, they just boosh, we boosh, or uh, maybe we don't poosh. Maybe we uh, just we do a uh, Newton here, and we uh... are you going on land? You are, aren't you? I don't know if I just made the situation better or worse. I think it's safe to say I made it worse. Well, apparently our character is extremely strong. your big fat butt back into the water. This is this is kind of why I wish there was a way to just wake your character up after you know you've slept for long enough. Is the tide going out? I'm going to have to recover the boat, aren't I? Uh, for crying out loud. Okay, well, the job is done at least, so... I have a plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it is a plan. And a bad plan is at least a plan. Because pushing is apparently just not going to get me anywhere. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, so pushing definitely isn't working, but... Let's see if this works. Rather than pulling from the front, let's see if I can maybe pull it from the rear. And are you doing anything? I mean, if I have to recover the boat, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it is going to be very annoying. Well, it's definitely going to have to be recovered now. Unless I can get extremely lucky and I can recover that. Uh... I 
I don't think I can recover this. <laughs> Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Right, so... <sighs> I really didn't want to have to do this. Looks like I might not have a choice. Whoops. It's trying to get out, but unless the tide comes in, I think I'm pretty well sunk. Pun not intended. Yeah, the boat is glued to this spot right here. Like the mast, like rotates it around. So this is going to be kind of an interesting experiment on my end, I guess. Um. How much I'm actually going to lose? I'm going to lose some fishing hooks, less than half a barrel of water, and seven cheese. Right, now, let me do some quick maths and we'll see like if this is actually going to be worth doing. So, 10% of 366 would be 36, right? So, yeah, it's not a terrible loss. I'm just going to lose some basic food supplies uh, and maybe a bit of reputation. That's eh, annoying, but I don't think we have much of another choice. Did it reconfigure the boat? No, it did not. Okay. Okay, it was a little bit more than what I was expecting, but... Actually, no. I think I, I, think I was expecting to have, like... Give or take 300... Like, exactly? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember anymore. Um, well, this does put us in a good position to, like, try going to East Wind again. But that'll have to wait for next episode, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.